oh my god they're asking for a phd to be a javascript developer <laughs> <laughs> guys listen in today's video we're gonna be talking about how these job listings are just crazy okay and i know some of you guys get scared when you see the years of experience that they're asking for or you know the type of background that they want from a developer uh it could be education it could be you know shoot i've seen situations where uh they're like hey we're looking for a developer with economics background like wait what <laughs> like so we're gonna get into this right now guys so stay tuned all right let's get started she want me to lock it down but i told her to pass the key you gotta slow it down girl you moving too fast for me nobody did it like this so they wanted it asking me if i can slow it down because it's coming too fast for me i came up from the bottom now look at me now they mad at me I slow it down. All right, guys, this is your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy is back and out and did it again one more time, man. Listen, I know some of you guys are stressing out when you're applying to jobs. You see these crazy numbers. You see this crazy, you know, years of experience, right? But let's go in and, and, and start answering your questions, the things that you care about. Can you get hired as a developer with no experience? And the answer is yes. That's it. Tada. Video's over. Close this down. We out of here. <laughs> nah, man. Um, I could tell you this, man. Look, as a junior developer, I know you're scared. I know you're, you know, anxious and you're like, man, I've never done this before. I've never worked in the tech industry. Shoot, some of you guys have never even worked in an office. Okay? So there's a whole new world for you. But the truth is that not every position is a leading role. Not every position is for you to be the LeBron James of the team. There's times where companies just need you to be a supporting, you know, supporting developer to the guys that are, you know, the starters, right? You got to be the Derek Fisher of the team. Okay. There was Kobe Bryant, right? He's the star. There got to be a Derek Fisher to pass the ball to Kobe Bryant. Okay. That's how it is. Right? So when you are going to apply to these jobs, don't be scared, right? Apply to them. Let them decide if you can do the work, show them and demonstrate them uh, the skills that you have by showing a, a solid portfolio, solid projects, right? And demonstrating that you can do what they want you to do at that company. Okay. If you're applying for a react developer, show that you have the react skills so you could get the job. If they're asking for HTML emails, show HTML emails on your portfolio, right? So they know exactly what level you're at because to be honest with you, it doesn't matter how many years of experience you have as long as you can do the task that is on hand. Okay. If they give you a task and you can do it, that's what they care about. And to be honest, it's actually better for a company to hire somebody that can do the work and don't have so much experience because then they don't have to pay them that much. It's so much easier. For example, if I go in and say, well, I could hire this junior developer for $60,000, $70,000, right? and have him build landing pages for me instead of hiring a front-end developer who has the title front-end engineer right and he's been doing this for years but all i need him to do is landing pages and work on some uh pages that might need some javascript right that guy no matter what he's gonna be asking for 90 a hundred thousand a year right so now for this simple task i don't want to be paying a hundred thousand dollars for some simple task you get what i'm saying Right. So there's situations where companies might say, I want to hire a junior developer to do this task. You get what I'm saying? We already have the leading role. We already paying a guy top dollar to, you know, have the responsibility of taking control of the team and, and, and steering them the right way. Well, you know, like when shit breaks, he's the one that we, you know, we call and we ask questions to. They already have that guy. A lot of companies are in that position, but they're looking for somebody to be on a supporting role. And that's what junior developers are. So yes, you can get a job with no experience, guys. Now let's talk about when years of experience is relevant to the job position. So let's say, for example, you was doing 10 years as a developer doing something like C sharp and dot net but now you're trying to apply to a position where they're using i don't know mongodb graphql um you know maybe some node.js some fast api whatever the hype stack is is out right 
and you have no idea what that is, right? Right there, your years of experience is irrelevant, right? You're not getting the job. If you have no idea what those things are, right, or whatever it is that they need you to do, you're not getting the job. Even if you have 10, 15 years, you're not getting the job because you are at the same level as a junior developer. The only difference is you understand what web development is or, you know, creating software is. But besides that, you're going to have to start from scratch. Somebody's going to have to train you. Somebody's going to have to teach you these things. You're going to have to put in the work. What, you're going to come into work and, and learn at the job when we need you on day one? I don't think so, right? So in that situation, it's irrelevant how many years you have as a developer, okay? Because if you haven't kept up with the industry or you haven't, uh, you know, you don't have the skills that they need you to have, especially for somebody with five, ten years of experience, then it's irrelevant. You're not going to get the job. You get what I'm saying? By the way, guys, I want to give a big shout out to the homie Michael Dursey. He's the reason why we created this video. He had a very good question, and that's what motivated me to create this. And this is the question, so maybe you guys can relate. He said, hey, Joe, I'm planning on taking your Shopify courses in the near future. One thing has me concerned. I was reading the job description for the Jarvis recruitment post you were displaying in the video. However, I don't have the requisite experience they are looking for. In general, should I be honest on every application? And if I were to get an interview, how do I circumvent having to explain the general lack of experience? I'm guessing I need to have a good portfolio if I want to go in swinging with a big <laughs> and you can read the rest. All right. So look, man. So should you be honest on your job application about how many years of experience you have? And the answer is yes. Because you don't want to go in and say, hey, I got four years of React development, and then they give you somehow the job, and they're expecting you to be at a certain level, but then now they realize, bro, this guy has like six months of experience, right? We can't give him any of this task. That's how you get fired, right? Or even at that, this is going to be times where companies do like their, their, you know, their research. Sometimes they do their research, and then they find out. You don't have four years of experience. You just started the other day. You know, you, you don't have nobody to vouch for you. You don't have no references. So you don't want to embarrass yourself. You want to be honest and let them know, hey, man, this is my first job, but I'm ready to go. Here's my portfolio. Here's everything that I've done. Okay. On your resume, what do you want to put? You want to talk about the projects that you have created? What have you done in those projects? Uh, what type of skills you, you use in there, okay? And basically, what does that project accomplish, okay? And this is things that people don't really realize, but, you know, it's important to know why did you build this project? It was, oh, well, it was a to-do app, and I saw it on, on Traversing Media's channel, and I just decided to do it to, the same thing, and I put it on my portfolio. Ta-da! I didn't really think about it. I just followed the video. Like, now nah, you can't do that. You got to go in there and create a project, that you can demonstrate your skills and show that you were solving a problem. Those are the things that really get you hired. Now, another thing that I will say is don't disqualify yourself. That's not your job. You don't get paid to disqualify yourself. You're not the guy that is supposed to be interviewing you. You're not the guy that's supposed to be going through your resume. You're not the guy that's supposed to be going through your portfolio. That's their job to do. If somehow they messed up and they hire you for a position that you're not ready, that's on them. It's not really on you because you demonstrated all of your cards and you told them, this is what I can do. This is how many years of experience I have and I'm ready to go. But with this skills and this experience. So if they put you in, in, in a senior role position, you're like, yo, hold on. I never told you I was a senior. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So that was on them. So don't disqualify yourself from that position. You just apply and that's their job. You get what I'm saying? Now let's talk about this job listings that you see out here, you know, with all of this years, right? Who actually writes this? Some of you guys think that it's a developer that's actually writing this, you know, that they're like, well, they're looking for a Shopify front end developer and they're looking for somebody with liquid two, three years, HTML two, three years, JavaScript two to four years, React 10 plus years. By the way, just to show you this, right? Um, React release date, right? <laughs> it was May 29, 2013. Okay. I started using React 
2014-2015, okay? So there is nobody with 10 years of experience. Maybe the guy who created it in Facebook when it was maybe, uh, you know, like an in-house project. But to be honest with you, like, no, this thing has doesn't even have 10 years. There's no way that this thing is going to say 10 years. Now, <laughs> this wasn't really here on the listing. I added it, you know, inspect element. But because there's jobs that actually do this, they'll be like, well, uh, view three or view two, whatever. And they're looking for somebody with seven years of experience. And I'm like, yo, view hasn't been around for that long. You get what I'm saying? Or when you go in and you see somebody talking about, uh, we're looking for somebody with Laravel experience, 10 plus years. I don't even think Laravel has 10 years, right? Laravel release date. <laughs> I don't even think that it's been that long. Okay. Like we start going in, look, 2017 version 5.7. I remember starting with version 3.0. Look, they don't even have the 4.2. 4.2 is mad old, right? So, and this is like 2014, 2015, around there. I've seen Laravel since early on, early stages. So at the end of the day, like most of these jobs, they don't even have that that many years of, uh, of like being around or even the skills. So the people who are, are listing this is usually like, you know, the office girl, the HR person, the, you know, HR lady, you know what I mean? How is it that Josh Flew calls his girlfriend HR, HR girl, HR lady or something like that? Uh, lady HR, right? It's some random women that don't know about code, right? You know, and I'm not trying to say nothing bad about that, but it's the truth. A lot of times it's like, yo, some people that have degrees, they end up at these co corporate companies, right? Their job is to send out emails, uh, you know, set up freaking 401ks and, and things like that. They go read a blog and they're like, well, somebody said, we need a Shopify front-end developer. They read a blog and they're like, well, maybe they're looking for Liquid for four years. They're looking for HTML four years, JavaScript four years, you know, JavaScript 10 years. They don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know about these things. It's not a developer that's writing this stuff. Developers are actually doing more important things, you know, with, with their time, you know, but somebody has to write this. And there's times that it's like founders, people who have money and they have the money to, to hire developers and be like, well, uh, I want to create the next Facebook, right? There's a lot of people with money out here. Okay. You know, poppy and mommy kids that ask, for daddy, hey, dad, uh, I don't want to go to college no more. I want to start my own startup. And daddy comes in, writes him a check for $5 million and says, here, buddy, build your first company. Now that guy has a company. He has no idea what's the technical things behind this. Sometimes this is why they have to hire, you know, a CTO, a more experienced CTO to go in and tell them, hey, this is how we're going to be able to tackle this or maybe a consultant. But there's people hiring people that don't even know what they actually need. Right. I've seen situations where people go into jobs and they're like, well, we need a PHP developer. And once they start building the application, they're like, oh, shoot, we actually need somebody who knows about data science and knows about Python and machine learning. So maybe we chose the wrong language. It's too late. You hire a PHP developer. He has no idea what the hell you guys are talking about. You don't know about no data science and no machine learning. Right. Because they didn't even know what they actually needed. And they're hiring people for positions or, or listing things on, on jobs, uh, boards like this one, and they don't even know exactly what they want. So what you want to do is you want to continue applying to all of these jobs, right? It's not up to you to disqualify yourself. Okay. So stop being scared. Okay. Years of experience mean nothing unless it's a, for a leading position. If it's for a leading position, like I said, yes. But for anything else, it doesn't matter. All right, guys. Listen, man, if you want to learn how to code, guys, you got to go check out codingface.com, guys. Okay? It's the number one place for people to learn how to code. Okay? We are basically teaching you everything that you need to get a job as a front-end developer, back-end developer, full-stack developer. And then from there, we give you skills like React, developer career bundles, Shopify theme developer career bundle, Shopify app developer career bundle, entrepreneur developer career bundle. So all of this right here, you get access to all of this on codingface.com. 
Come try it out. Click on the link in the description and you'll get 20% off. Okay. Take advantage. Right. And, um, yeah, man, that's how it is, man. I'll see you guys around. Take care. Peace.